I firmly believe that persons with cancer should have the right to choose where and how they spend their precious remaining time alive. And with that context, we've come up with a relatively new concept, that of time toxicity, to recognize the incredible burdens that patients and care partners face in receiving cancer care. Many new oncology treatments can be marginal uh, with respect to the amount of life or survival that they add to patients, you know, often in the order of weeks to a few months, whereas the time costs of pursuing those treatments uh, in terms of frequent visits to healthcare facilities, time spent away from family, missing social events, missing work, missing spending time uh, doing things that they love, these time costs can be massive. And in some cases, they can even outweigh the marginal survival gains associated with the treatment. And so we've come up with this concept of time toxicity to, one, encourage the oncology clinical community to start thinking about these time costs, but also, uh, more specifically, to get oncology clinical trials to report time costs of treatment alongside the survival benefits so that oncologists have these data to have truly informed shared decision-making conversations with patients so patients can make the best choices for themselves that align with their own preferences and goals. It's absolutely massive. The first time I actually met Dr. Christopher Booth, who's actually a mentor of mine, and uh, we came up with the time toxicity concept together, was through an e-cancer Choosing Wisely event in New Delhi, India. And so the impact for trainees and junior oncologists to engage with leaders in the field, it, it's benefited me personally, myself, through interactions with Dr. Booth and other mentors. Uh, it's also an excellent platform for people around the globe with shared interests in doing the right thing for the right patient at the right time. It just brings everyone together in a, in a beautiful way.